This is the end, my only friend, the end. Welcome to J Royal with James, that's me. J Royal is a fun loving channel about fragrance, fitness and fun. And every Friday I've been doing a top five list for you special peeps out there. Well, I'm sad to say that today is my last top five. Well, arguably the most fun segment for me to put together, I've decided to make my 50th top five my last. Before I get into why this is my last top five and all that, I decided it'd be kind of fun to look back at some of my favorite top fives that I've done. <laughs> is that a little uh, narcissistic perhaps? Uh, quite possibly yes. The top fives that I've done have ranged from decent to wacky to boring and predictable and everything in between. But these are the five that really stood out to me when I thought back about making these really, really fun videos. My number five top five Friday is top five cuddle fragrances. <laughs> Top five cuddle fragrances was a video that wasn't meant to happen. I went to go visit my girlfriend for three weeks on a Caribbean cruise. So I pre-uploaded all of my content knowing that I'd be gone. So you could still get those same J Royal videos, dude. Problem was my family surprised me and booked a cruise to come see me, but it was the week after I left. So I had to buy another cruise to cruise with my family. Long story short, I ended up having to record some videos for you guys to watch. I had to conceive the ideas, film them and edit them for the week. Top five cutoff fragrances was a video that I coerced my girlfriend into doing. <laughs> I like that better. You like that yeah. better? It's, it's, it's number one right now. It's number one of two fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a number five because it was a bit cringe, but really, really cute. And it was Leslie's first appearance in my videos. Plenty more to come, by the way. My number four favorite top five Friday that I did was top five most complimented designer fragrances of 2017. Views. My number three favorite top five Friday was the top five sport flanker video I did with Timmy from Imagine Scent. It was a response video to the first collaboration we did on his channel that got a bit of backlash because of our contrasting energy levels. Top five sport flankers was a great opportunity for me to respond to the trolls and the haters. I was a bit apprehensive at first because I don't like to feed trolls. But then I realized that trolls, they feed me. Timmy and I released a video on the top 10 sport fragrances. There were several individuals who were exclaiming that the energy level contrast was a bit jarring. Perhaps one person had a bit too much energy. So I've taken your criticisms into consideration and my response would be to suck my balls. Gotta love a good ball pun. My number two top five Friday was the top five back to school fragrances. It wasn't just picking five fragrances that would work for school, but I put subcategories with each fragrance. So even though it was still a top five list, each fragrance was specifically picked for certain situations. And I don't think I've done a lot of top fives with that sort of style, but it got my brain working a bit more. And that's always a good thing. Let's check out what I picked for number one. My number one back to school fragrance is Sauvage, very cool spray. <laughs> why, James, why? Why not, man? Sauvage is one of the all-time great compliment getters. And when you're in school, you're probably super insecure <laughs> and you can use all the compliments you can get. So why not reach for the king? I mean, you can't argue with that, man. It's really high class Axe body spray. And we all know how big Axe was in high school, am I right? fellow late twenties people. And my number one favorite top five Friday was 
Top five fragrance top fives. This video was made back when I was fresh off my royal training days of my wacky fitness videos. Before I reeled it in a little bit and became a bit more professional, starting to lose that professionalism slowly again, thankfully. And essentially it was kind of a satire on all the top fives on YouTube. So I ended up picking my favorite fragrance top fives and then picking my favorite fragrance from those top fives if I were to make those lists. So at the top of my summer list, we got a goodie, Zerjoff Renaissance. Part of the 1861 collection, this is the summery brother of Naxos. It's also a third one, which no one cares about. So I guess this is part two of that video, but uh, whatever. <laughs> what a self-righteous video idea, dude. I thought it would be fun to relive some of the top fives I've done because I feel it's been a core part of the J Royal channel. So why am I stopping? Is it a lack of ideas? No, I got about 30 or 40 top five ideas just chilling in my phone and that list keeps growing and growing and growing. This is not the end, this is actually the beginning. It's time to change things up a bit, guys. My biggest fear is stagnating. I don't want this channel to just be the old predictable thing of top five here, top five there. I'm upping my game in my software and my hardware and my content. I wanna provide more variety on this channel. I don't wanna be as cookie cutter as I've been thus far, which has served me well, but it's just time to switch it up, man. So what can you expect going forward? You can expect a whole bunch of remixed Royal Rush videos, Royal Rumble videos, a ton of those, some more JTOX top tens, and a new segment, which I have yet to announce. I'm really excited about this change, guys, so I hope you're all along for the ride because it's going to be smooth. Positive thinking. <laughs> if you want more information on what's happening with me and what spurred all this decision making, you can either ask me in the comments below or you can join the J Royal Facebook group because I talk about it extensively to all my peeps in there. If you like the video, you don't have to click the like button. You don't have to subscribe either. Guess what? Free country. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Peace. La Nuit de l'Homme 2016 versus La Nuit de l'Homme 2011. Wow. After settling with little decants here and there, I finally got a pre-reformulation.